Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna be checking out the CR Touch, which is going to give you auto leveling for printers like the Ender 3 version 2 here, or any of the Ender series with 32-bit boards, and also the CR series. And they go for around $40, sometimes a little less on sale. Let's go ahead and open it up. So pretty nice box. Interestingly, even magnetic there. We've got this little superhero cartoon. So on the top, we have the manual. So the manual does explain how to, you know, hook it up and get it going. And a lot more stuff here on the back about programming it. So let's see what else we have here in the box. So yeah, here we can see the probe itself and some brackets. And actually it comes with a few brackets, three to be exact. So one of these brackets will be compatible with the Ender series or the CR series. All right, so we'll figure out which one we need here in a second. Let's go ahead and pull out the touch itself. And I like how it's nicely packed here in this formed foam. So this is the CR Touch itself. The housing on it is plastic and it's kind of like a darkened see-through. You can kind of see through it. You can see the probe on the bottom and the probe is actually metal, which is pretty nice. On the back there, we can see it says CR Touch with the model number and this is where we're gonna plug it in. Yeah, very nice looking probe and quality built like you would expect from Creality. All right, there's still more stuff here in the box as we go deeper and it looks like we have the wiring and so one side the smaller one plugs into the sensor and the larger one plugs into the main board and on the very bottom we have a few more things which we get three zip ties and some little bolts we got m3 by 6 and m3 by 8 so yeah very nicely presented here from creality and yeah this is everything that's included so let's go ahead and look at the manual and see what bracket we use for this printer so looking at the manual we can see the different brackets in the packing list section and we can see the ender 3 version 2 gets a special bracket and the rest of them are more compatible with other machines and actually the ender 3 max also gets a separate one too so all right so for installation this should be quite simple we're just gonna install the bracket and then the touch to the bracket and then we're gonna get to our main board and plug it in all right so looking at the side of our hot end assembly here we can see that there's a couple holes there and they should be there on your printer for the mounting and so this is what our bracket for the version 2 ender 3 looks like and it's going to go right here now you can install the cr touch to it first and basically it goes just like this where it clears the plug so the creality logo goes to the side here pointing that way just like that Go ahead and grab the Allen wrench we need. Actually guys, we should probably go ahead and install the CR Touch to the bracket because it'd be easier because the bolts come down from the bottom. And we'll use the shorter ones for this. So yeah, just make sure the bracket clears the plug and that's the way it's gonna mount. And then we're just gonna snug them up, not too hard. And that should be good right there. So yeah, it's gonna mount just like that. And this is gonna point to the side like this. Now, now we're going to grab our other bolts and go through the bracket here and then into the frame cradle. Go ahead and start the other one and we're going to tighten it up. Snug it up nicely. That should be good right there. So our little CR Touch is on and it's looking like it belongs there actually. Very nice. So for the next part, we're going to need to get to our main board, which is underneath the printer. Let me take this little toolbox out. I went ahead and unplugged it, so make sure you do that. And we'll flip it on its side. And you guys can see here the bottom of the printer. And this little cover here is where our board is. We're going to use the same wrench to take this cover off. So we got two little bolts here and a longer one on this side. Now there is actually another bolt. I totally forgot about this, but it's on the top. And it's right here. And it's going to have to also come out. And you guys saw that the cover just dropped there. And this is also a short little bolt. So looking in here, we can see that our main board is a Creality version 4.2.2. And so what we're looking for is the BL Touch plug, which is right there. You guys can see that. And this is where we're gonna plug in this cable that came with the CR Touch. So the cable is pretty long and we should have enough of it to route it with the main cable here. Simply gonna just plug in. just like that and now we can route it around here through the back now it depends you know how much you want to do back here but it's probably worth you know taking the time and kind of neatly organizing it but do watch out for these sharp corners because mine are unprotected and just watch out for this cable not to get pinched anywhere too hard but yeah they did only include three zip ties which I feel like is definitely not enough for this project, especially routing it all around. 
but we can kind of you know use the existing wires to kind of go around and maybe even some electrical tape here and there to hold it all together but yeah that's going to be up to you i'm going to go ahead and put this lid back on since we are pretty much done under here again the small screws go to the front there and then the longer one towards the back all right so my wire underneath looks pretty good let's stand the printer back up and here at the back you guys can see it just kind of comes out and we're just going to route it basically with this wire here so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get some electrical tape and kind of, you know, do a nice job and connect it all around. So yeah, guys, I just kind of, you know, taped it to the main cord here. It did turn out pretty good. And I did start zip tying it here a little bit. Kind of hold it all together. So yeah, we're just getting here to the end. We're gonna have a little extra so we can go ahead and Pile it up a little bit somewhere. Plug in the sensor. Just like that. It looks like we're gonna have to do a little fold here. Make it look as nice as we can. In my opinion, it's worth to take the time and clean everything up. Wiring is kind of gives you that vibe for the printer, so. And as simple as that, our CR touch is on. I did forget to mention don't forget to put that little bolt back in on the top. But yeah, other than that, I think we are done with the hardware installation. So for the next part, we're gonna need our little micro SD card here that came with the printer. And we're gonna go to the computer, download the firmware onto the card, and then bring it back here to the printer and update it. So on the manual here, it does tell you what site to go to to download it. So yeah, we'll just hop onto the computer next and do that. All right guys, so here we are at the computer and I got the page open that Creality said in the manual, but actually turns into a different one, which is software slash firmware. And it's like creality.cloud.com. So I guess this is it. And I do also have the SD card plugged in, which is right here on the side but in any case let's go ahead and click on firmware because that's what we need and we can see here all of the different printers available and on the side here we got CR series, Ender series, Hollet series and Sermoon series so we need the Ender obviously and we're going to find our printer which is the Ender 3 version 2 here and now we're going to find our board which is version 4.2.2 it looks like we have a couple here we have this one here and the one down here so I'm going to go with the one down here because that seems like be the right one so yeah we're going to click on that and then download it so I am on a Mac by the way but yeah, we'll click save to desktop and then it's going to download and it's a, a bin file here and that's what we're looking for. So then we're going to take this bin file and drop it into the SD card. Let's open that up and we can see it's right here. So now when we insert it into the printer, it should do the install. Yeah, I mean, simple as that. That's how you download the firmware for the CR Touch. It is called BL Touch here, but you know, it's, they're the same thing exactly. So. And also guys, while we're over here, I went to uh, Thing Reverse, and if you search for bed level stripes test, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, download this so we can do like a little test and see how good the level is on the bed. It kind of shows you here the picture of what it'll look like. So we'll also download this and use it for our testing. And if we open it up, we can see what this G code looks like here. So yeah, it's just like a one layer of, I guess, zigzags back and forth. So. So we do need to convert it into a G-code real quick. So let's go ahead and open up our Cura. Let's throw in our little striping levels here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Make sure our build adhesion is a skirt, just one. This is so large. Everything else is pretty standard here. Let's just go ahead and slice this. Surprisingly, it's gonna take 10 minutes. In any case, we'll go ahead and save it to the card and it's saved, eject. All right, so here we are back at the printer. Let's go ahead and put our little SD card back in. I do have it plugged in, so I think all we got to do now is turn it on and hopefully it'll update. Let's try. So the screen is blank, which is, I guess, a good sign. All right, so it's booting up. And we do have a new icon here that says level and that's what you're looking for. So I think everything worked out great. So before we go in there and push that and we need to do a manual leveling of the bed and the reason we want to do that is because we want to you know make it as close as possible so whenever the CR touch has to you know probe the bed it's going to be already pretty level so you know it doesn't have to compensate so much and so with this printer just like before we got to go to prepare and then out of home now actually before we do anything else we need to preheat 
So we'll just do preheat PLA. What we're gonna go is into the move Z. So it actually stopped at plus 10 millimeters. So this is where, you know, out of homes, but we need to lower that down either to zero or close to that. So I'm gonna go 0.5. And it looks like we are about 0.5. That's pretty close there. And we'll go to disable steppers. And that's gonna cut everything loose. You got to be really careful, not pushing this down. So we're just gonna move it to each corner here and adjust it accordingly. So basically doing a manual level here. So we're just gonna get it, you know, semi-close here. Since we have the out of bed leveling, we don't have to be so precise. We just wanna make sure we're close. So as long as you're, you know, pretty close, it's good enough. I'm just trying to get it pretty much perfect, I guess. And the bed is definitely hot enough at this point, so yeah. All right, so that looks good. Let's go back to auto leveling and let it do its thing since everything is preheated. It's gonna do the leveling. And then after that, we're gonna set the Z axis offset so that way we're, you know, perfect off the bed, so. Yeah, it looks like it takes double measurements and appears to be doing uh, nine points is what it looks like. So we got three up front there. And then three in the middle looks like and then three in the back so it's building a mesh of the bed and that way when it prints it can compensate depending on where it's at all right so it's finished now we're going to go to prepare and then we're going to go to out of home and when we do that it should go to the middle and there it goes so make sure everything is nice and hot. So then we're gonna go to Z offset. Hopefully you guys can see that. Click on it and now we can move up and down the whole head here. But before we do the Z axis, we need to get down to zero Z. So we're gonna go to move and go to zero. Once you get the zero, click it. It's gonna lower down itself as much as it can. And then go back from there. We're gonna go to the Z axis offset. And now we're gonna fine tune this thing. So I do have a little blob under there Should I probably took off first. Yeah, there it goes. But yeah, basically on mine, you can see I need to go down quite a bit. So on yours, it might be a little bit, you know, less, more, whatever. Might be up, might be down, but I will need to go down quite a bit. I'm gonna start with 1.5. Let's see how low that goes. You do have to click it. Yeah, I need a little more. So yeah, I'm way off on mine. Just gonna go to two millimeters. And there we go, now we're close. Need a little more probably. 2.05, nope. Okay, it appears to be 2.05 on mine, which looks pretty good. I guess we could try that. But yeah, you can adjust this, you know, up and down as you need to when you print. But let's see what happens when we do print. So I think we're done here. Let's auto home it again, just to make sure everything's good. So go back, print. We'll choose our G code that we made with the lines and let's see how that goes so if we go to tune we can adjust the offset right here also it's minus 0.05 so i'll be ready to do that just in case if it needs to go up or down but we should be pretty close where it's at so it takes the first probe the second and i guess it's ready to go and as far as i can see yeah it does look pretty good and just like i said it so far so good Zoom you in and maybe a little more. But yeah, you guys can see the bead is going down perfectly. Let's see, yeah, pretty much perfect. It's a little loose here, but you might need to go down just a fuzz. But let's just see what happens. So far, I'm really liking what I'm seeing. I'm not sure exactly what it's doing now. It's going through the okay, so it's trying to find where to start. Uh, yeah, actually guys, it's perfect. So yeah, it seems to be <laughs> working just like, uh, you know, it's supposed to because it's literally stuck on perfectly. Would you look at that? All right, well, we got it from the first shot and yeah, it looks like the Z offset is where it's at once you adjust that, you know, and if you do need to get a little closer, you can. I think maybe we should just a little bit, 2.06 for me here, so. So yeah guys, as you can see, everything is working great. 
our first layer stuck on perfect which is very nice to see and yeah I mean you know if you don't want to mess around with bed leveling I guess this could be a great answer and not only that is it kind of can you know keep the bed to where you need it compared to you know you're trying to manually level it yourself plus you know if you got somebody that doesn't really understand bed leveling this could be a great kind of setup and forget about it and it'll just work every time in any case I guess I'm gonna go ahead and stop this print because it's just putting layers on top of layers at this point so but yeah for what this is or at least compared to the BL touch it's a great option and not only that it looks really good it's built very well it's got a metal probe and just the whole process is quite simple so you know if you have an ender product you might as well get the Creality CR touch probe 